वेलकम टू सी एंड सी प्लस प्लस प्रोग्रामिंग अंडर ए पी जी पाठशाला टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट विथ अवर मॉड्यूल फ्रेंड फंक्शन फ्रेंड क्लासेस एंड नेस्टेड क्लासेस अ फ्रेंड कंसेप्ट इज सिमिलर टू द रियल लाइफ सिचुएशन वेयर वी कैन गिव अवर रूम कीज टू अवर फ्रेंड सो अवर फ्रेंड कैन हैव द एक्सेस टू द रूम एनी पर्सन हु वॉन्ट्स टू एक्सेस द रूम कैन बी डन यूजिंग द फ्रेंड इन रियल लाइफ the data members or the member functions has to be accessed which are private in classes so the c++ has given the flexibility or the concept of friend classes and friend function through which we can access the private and protected members of the class in object oriented programming the data handling is a main concept in data handling the non member functions cannot access the private and protected data of the class but while programming the big projects there are many situation where we need to access the private data of the class and if you use the data heading concept it may give rise to the very long and complex codes so in c++ the concept of a friend class and friend function is provided a friend function is a special function which gives the access to the private and protected data of the class through friend classes we can even access the private and protected member functions of the class so many a times it can be considered as a loophole but if we use this particular concept with a proper caution our programs can become very compact so a proper use of this particular facility can make the programs very compact and easy for use too many friend function and friend classes can be problematic in real life coding or in real life applications so a proper and limited use of friend function can make our programs very fast and very compact now let's start with our module one of the important concept of object oriented programming is data heading that is a non member function cannot access the private and protected data of the class but many a times there are situations where we need to access this private data it is possible with the help of a friend function and friend class which is a built in mechanism in c++ to access the private or protected data from non member function the learning objectives we will study about friend function we will study about friend class we will learn about nested class we will study about local classes the private members cannot have right of entry from outside the class that is a non member function cannot have the right of entry to the private data of the class but there can be many situations when we need to access this private data C++ language permits the common function to be made friendly with both the classes or more than one classes by allowing the function to have the access to the private data of the class such type of function need not be a member of that particular class to make an outside function to be friend of a class it is a must that the function has to be declared as a friend of the class the syntax to define a friend function in a class is as follows class class name inside the definition of the class opening braces we can have the friend function declaration as friend return type function name in bracket the arguments and semicolon and class will end now let's see a simple example as the class test starting with the curly braces in a public section we will have a friend function declaration as friend void print and our class will end as you can see here only the declaration will be there inside the class the actual definition of the friend function will be outside the class the declaration of a friend function should be made inside the body of the class that is it can be anywhere inside the class either in private or public section starting with the keyword friend the definition of the friend function should not use the keyword friend or the scope resolution operator a function can be declared as a friend in any number of classes even though the friend function is not a member function it has a full right to access the private members of the class a friend can be a function function template member function or a class or a class template in which case the entire class and all its members are friends some of the unique characteristics of a friend function are it is not in the scope of the class to which it has been declared as a friend since it is not in the range of the class it cannot be called using the object of that class it can call like a normal function without the help of any object it can be declared either in the public or a private part of the class generally 
it will take the object as the arguments. It contrasts to member functions, it cannot access directly the member names, but it has to use the object name and the dot membership operator with each member name. Since the friends are non members, therefore they do not get this pointer. Now let us start with a simple program to find the mean of given numbers using the concept of friend function. We will start with our program hash include io stream using namespace std. Now we will start with our class class number. Here we will declare two data members as private integer number 1 comma number 2. Now we will start with our public section. In public section we will have one member function as get. So, it will be public colon void get. Inside get we will have the code as c out enter the two numbers. We will take the two numbers from the user as c in number 1 number 2. Our member function will end. Now, we will have one function which will be a friend of this particular class. So, only the prototype of this particular function will come. So, it will be as friend float mean and inside bracket number n. As you can see the friend keyword is there, the return type of the function is there, name of the function is there and the argument will be the object of class number. Now, our class will end here. Now, outside the class we are going to define the function mean. So, here the definition of the function will be as float mean number n. Now, inside this particular function we will write a code as return n dot number 1 plus number n dot number 2 divided by 2 and our function will end. Now, we will start with our main program. So, integer main here we will declare the object of class number as number n 1 and now we will call a member function n 1 dot get and now we will display the message as c out the mean value is we will call a function mean and n 1 will be passed as an argument and our main return 0 and our main program will end. Now when the above program will be compiled and executed it will give the output as enter the two numbers. Suppose the two numbers entered are 10 and 20 then it will display the message as mean value is 15. Now let us see a simple program to print the distance using the friend function. We will start with the program hash include io stream using namespace std. Now here we are going to declare the class as distance class distance inside this we will have one data member as private integer meter. In the public section we will have first the constructor distance here we are going to assign the value as 0 to the meter and our constructor will end. We will have one friend function as friend integer cal distance and in bracket distance. Now here this is a declaration of the friend function as you can see friend is a keyword integer is a return uh, value of the function cal dist is the name of the function and distance is the object as a parameter and our class declaration will end. Now we will define our uh, friend function as integer cal distance inside the argument distance d. Now as you can see here inside the uh, class when we declare it as a friend only the data type that is distance is ok. If you do not give the object as, or the name of the object then also it is fine but at the time of the definition the object name as a parameter is essential. Now we will start with the body of the function d dot meter equal to 5 return d dot meter and our function will end. Now we will start with our main program integer main here we will declare the object of class distance as distance d c out distance colon we are going to make a call to a function cal dist inside bracket object will be passed as an argument d return 0 our main program will end. When the above code is compiled and executed it will produce the result as distance 5. Now let us see a program to add two complex numbers using the friend function. Here we are going to define the class of complex. We will start with our program hash include io stream using namespace std. We will start with our class complex. Here in a private section we will have two variables float real imaginary. In a public section we will have a member function void get. Here we are going to take the values of real and imaginary part of a number. So, here we will display the message to the user as c out enter the real part c in real 
C out enter the imaginary part C in imaginary our function will end. Now next we are going to have a member function display where we are going to display back the value of a number on the screen. So it will be void display if imaginary part is less than 0 C out real space imaginary i else C out slash n real plus imaginary i our function will end. Here one thing you have to notice is the display function has this if condition because if in the real and imaginary part we have a negative sign then it is not displayed properly. So if it is going to have some sign then we are going to if it is less than 0 we are going to give in between the real and imaginary part the blank space. But if the sign is not there if the imaginary part is greater than 0 then we are going to display in between real and imaginary part the plus sign. And now this particular notation we are going to uh, use for all display of real numbers or complex numbers. Now we will de declare one friend function as friend void sum complex comma complex semicolon and our class will end here. As you can notice here this particular sum will take two arguments or two objects of the same class complex complex. Now outside the class we are going to define our friend function as void sum complex c1 comma complex c2. Now it is going to add two objects of the same class complex. We will start with our function here float ip will be our one variable ip will be equal to c1 dot imaginary plus c2 dot imaginary. Now here if ip is less than 0 c out sum of two complex numbers is c1 dot real plus c2 dot real then the blank space and c1 dot imaginary plus c2 dot imaginary and i else c2 sum of two complex numbers is c1 dot real plus c2 dot real plus the c1 dot imaginary plus c2 dot imaginary and i value and our program will end. Now we will start with our main function integer main here we are going to declare two variables of class two objects of class complex as complex comp1 comma comp2. We will display the message to the user enter the first complex number we will take it as comp1 dot get c out enter the second complex number we will take the input as comp2 dot get. Now we are going to call a function as sum here comp1 and comp2 are the objects of class uh, complex which will be passed as an argument and return 0. Now when the above code is compiled and executed it will produce the output as enter the real part suppose the first number that we have entered is minus 2 imaginary part is 4 then the second complex number enter the real part is suppose 5 enter the imaginary part suppose the entered number is minus 7 then the output will be first complex number is minus 2 plus 4i second complex number is 5 minus 7i and sum of two complex number is 3 minus 3i. Now let us see one more program to see the usage of the friend function. Here we are going to see one more uh, concept of C++ that is basically forward declaration. So if a function is a friend of more than one classes one class has to be declared initially that is basically called as a forward declaration. Now let us start with the program hash include iostream using namespace std. Now here we are going to write a friend function which is a friend of two classes class A and B. Here we are going to just declare the class B class B semicolon. This basically line is called as a forward declaration of class B. Now we will start with class A class A. Here we are going to declare one data member as private integer data. In a public section we are going to have a constructor A colon data 12 opening and closing braces. Here again the instead of giving the value of the variable data inside the constructor we can write it as A the name of the constructor colon data 12. So 12 value is assigned to the variable data. Then we are going to have a friend declaration as friend int sum a comma b. Now our class a ends. Now we will declare class b. Private data is integer data b. Again we are going to declare the constructor as b colon data 1. Here we are going to declare the friend function as friend integer sum a comma b. Our second class will end. As you can see in a first class when we declare the friend function we declare it as friend integer sum a comma b. 
here if you don't forward declare the class b the compiler doesn't know what is the data type of b so it is necessary to have the forward declaration of class b now let's define the normal uh, frame class or the frame function it will be integer a d1 b d2 are the arguments and then we are going to say return d1 dot data plus d2 dot data our function will end now we'll start with our main program integer main we are going to declare the object of class a as a a the object of class b as b b c out data colon the sum a comma b return 0 and our main program will end now when the above code is compiled and executed it will produce the result as data is 13 here if one friend function is a friend of more than one classes forward declaration is essential on the same line the way we are going to have friend function we are having the concept of a friend class a class can also be declared to be the friend of some other class when a class is created as a friend class then all the member functions of the friend class also become the friend of the other class the compulsory condition is that friend becoming the class must be first declared or it must be the first defined a class can be made a friend of another class by using the keyword friend a friend class in c++ can access the private and protected members of class in which it is declared as a friend it is also possible to declare only one member function of another class to be a friend when granting access to a class it is a must to specify that the access is granted for a class using the friend keyword the syntax to define a friend class is as follows friend class class name semicolon now let's see the example we will declare class a inside class a we will have friend class b semicolon and class a will end now we will define class b opening and closing braces in the above example all the member functions of class b will be friend of class a therefore any member function of class b can access the private and protected data of class a now let's see a simple program to see the usage of the friend class we'll start with the program hash include iostream using namespace std class a inside class a we will have private integer a public one constructor will be there a opening and closing bracket here we'll give the initial value as a equal to 10 friend class b so here we're declaring the friend class b and our class will end now we will define our class b class b in a private section we'll have integer b public we will have a member function as void show and inside this we will take a object of class a as a ampersand x here we will display the message as std scope resolution operator c out the message will be a colon colon a is equal to x dot a our function will end and our class will end we will start with our main program integer main we will declare the object of class a a a we will declare the object of class b as b b we will call the function as b dot show in bracket a will be passed as an argument return 0 and program will end now when the above code is compiled and executed it will produce the result as a colon colon a is equal to 10 so as you can see we have seen the usage of a friend class in this particular program now let's see the usage of the friend class concept we will write one more program for the friend class we'll start here now here the friend class concept is applied to three classes there are three classes that we are going to declare so here the first two classes will be having the forward declaration and third class the proper definition will come so let's start with our program hash include iostream using namespace std first class hen colon this is a forward declaration for class hen class nest colon this is a forward declaration for class nest and then we'll start with our third class class ache here we are going to have in a public section one function display void display in that we are going to display the message as c out display of a class end l our display function will end now we are going to have a friend class nest which is included inside the class ache and our class will end now we are going to define our class nest inside that we will have the object of class ache as ache1 colon 
so here we are defining the object of class a in a public section public colon will have again the display function see out display of nest class end l and here we are going to call a display of the previous class as e1 dot display so this display will call the egg class display using the object e1 our function will end here now we will have here the friend as friend class hen and our class of nest will end now we will define our class hen as class hen here we'll declare the object of class nest as nest in one in a private scope in a public section we'll have void display here we'll display the message as c out display of hen class end l here now we will call a display of a class nest using the object n1 as n1 dot display our display function will end and our class declaration will end now we will start with our main program integer main here we will have the object of class hen hen h1 and here we are going to call a function h1 dot display return 0 and our main program will end now as you can see here when we are calling inside the main program h1 dot display first it will go to the display of a hen class in hen class it will go to the display of nest class inside nest class it will call a display of a a class now when the above code is compiled and executed it will produce the result as display of first hen class then the display of nest class and the display of a class just see we are defining the object even we are calling the display of those respective classes now let's see one more program to calculate the cost of the box using the friend class we'll start with our program hash include io stream using namespace std now here the class cost calculator will be forward declared now we'll start with the class box here in the private section we'll have a data member integer length and integer width in a public section we'll have a member function set data where it will accept two parameters integer length and integer width length will be equal to length and width will be equal to width our function will end here the second member function will be integer get area return length into width our get area function will end here now we are going to have friend class cost calculator semicolon and our class box will end here now we will start with our class cost calculator in a public section we are going to have a member function whose return type will be double get cost box b1 will be object we will start with this particular member function double cost cost will be equal to b1 dot length into b1 dot width into 5 return cost and our member function will end here and our class will end here now we can start with our main program integer main now we will declare the object of class box box b now we are going to call a member function as b dot set data 20 comma 3 so here the length will be assigned to 20 width will be assigned to 3 now we are going to call uh, declare the object of class cost calculator calc now we will have the message as see out the expense calc dot get cost in bracket b will be passed in as a argument end l and return 0 and our main program will end as you can see here the calc dot get cost the function will be called where the total cost will be calculated and it will be displayed on the screen when the above code is compiled and executed it will produce the output as expense is equal to 300 a class which is defined inside another class is called as a nested class a nested class can be used within the scope of the class in which it is defined nesting can be done using the object or the class now let's see the simple example of nested class now here we are going to see a program to implement the use usage of nested class using the object so let's start with our program hash include io stream using namespace std here we are going to declare the class as class mail info here we are going to have two data members which are private integer shipper and integer postage in the public section we will have a member function void set it is going to accept two parameters as integer input class integer input postage 
shipper will be equal to input class and postage will be equal to input postage our member function will end here. Now we will have a second member function integer get postage the argument list is void return postage and our member function will end here our class will also end. So here we have defined our mail info classes with two data members and two member functions. Now we will define our next class class box in a private section we will have integer length, integer width and here we are going to declare the object of class mail info. So it will be declared as mail info label. So as you can see here two data members plus the object has been included inside the class box. So this is basically nesting using the objects of a another class. In a public section we will have public colon the member function as void said it is going to accept four parameters integer l, integer w, integer ship and integer post. Length will be equal to l, width will be equal to w and now we are going to pass this two values ship and post to the uh, set function of class mail info. So it will be done using the object of mail info as label dot set inside bracket ship dot post and our member function will end. Now here we will have one more member function integer get area void here we are going to write a statement as return length into width our member function will end and our class will end. As you can see here we have defined two classes one class of mail info second class of box and inside class box we had included the object of class mail info. Now we will start with our main program integer main. Here we are going to declare the object of class box as small, comma, medium, comma, large. Now here we are going to assign the value as small dot set in bracket 2, comma, 4, comma, 1, comma, 35, medium dot set in bracket 4 parameters as 5, 6, 2 and 72, large dot set the 4 parameters as 8, 10, 4 and 98. Now we are going to display the message as C out area of small box label is small dot get area end l c out area of medium box label is medium dot get area end l c out area of large box label is large dot get area end l return 0. Now when the above code is compiled and executed it will produce the result as area of small box label is 8, area of medium box label is 30 and the area of large box label is 80. So here you can see the nesting of the classes has done through the object. The program to illustrate the usage of a nested class, we will see one more example of a nested class, hash include iostream using namespace std class sample. In a public part we will have will declare one more class as class display. Inside that a private data member is integer s. In public section we will have member function as void sum integer a comma integer b s is equal to a plus b our member function will end we will have one more member function void show c out the sum of a and b is s the member function will end now our inner class of display will end and our outer class of sample will end now we will start with our main function integer main now here we are going to declare the object of class display as sample colon colon display x. So here we are going to declare the scope resolution operator and then we are going to declare the object. So please note here this particular object declaration as sample colon colon the name of the second class display and the name of the object as x. Now we are going to call a member function as x dot sum inside bracket well comma 10 x dot show return 0 and our main program will end. Now when the above code is compiled and executed it will produce the result as sum of a and b is 22. Now as you can notice in this particular example inside class sample we have included the class display. So class display the entire definition of that particular class is inside class sample. So whenever we have to declare the object of class display it will be displayed as sample colon colon display and then the name of the object. So this is again one level of nesting one class inside the another class. Local class is a class which is defined inside the function. Some of the restrictions in making the local class are 
the local classes can use the global variables and the static variables which are declared inside the function but they cannot use the automatic local variables it must that the global variables should be used with the scope resolution operator the local classes cannot have the static data members the local classes can have static member functions but they must be defined inside the local classes it is a must that the surrounding function cannot access the private members of the local classes but it can be accomplished by declaring the surrounding function as a friend now let's see the example of a local class void function 1 the empty argument list opening braces class test 1 which is a local class opening and closing braces then we are going to have the object of this test 1 as test 1 t1 which will create a object of test 1 class and use this particular object inside the class and our function will end so as you can see here this particular class test 1 is surrounded by a local function void function f1 now let's see a simple program to see the usage of the local class we'll start with the program hash include io stream using namespace std now here we are going to declare integer y semicolon which is a global variable void g which is a global function semicolon now we'll start with the program integer main starting we are calling g function and return 0 and end now we are going to declare the function g as void g opening and closing bracket starting braces for the function now inside this particular void function we are going to declare the class as local opening braces in public section we are going to write a member function void put inside bracket integer n now here we are going to access the value of y which is a global variable using the operator scope resolution so colon colon y is equal to n our fun member function will end now we'll have one more member function integer get here we are going to return colon colon y and function member function will end and our class will end just before ending the class local we are going to declare the object of class local as ab now inside this particular uh, function we are going to call the member function as ab dot put 20 then we are going to display the message see out the value assigned to y is colon colon and here we are going to write call the member function ab dot get and our function will end now when the above code is compiled and executed it will produce the output as the value assigned to y is 20 as you can see here the local class or the class is defined complete class is defined under the function void g and inside this class we are accessing the uh, global variable y so this is the thing that you have to notice here inside the local class now let's see a program to illustrate the usage of local class in static method we'll start with the program hash include io stream using namespace std here we are going to declare the function as void fun opening braces now inside this fun we are going to declare the complete class test which is a local inside the function fun we'll start with our class declaration public colon static void method see out local class method is called the static void method member function will end and our class will end now we are going to call using the test method test colon colon method semicolon and our void function will end so here we have declared one function inside that function we have declared one class test and inside that class test we have declared one static method now we'll start with our main program integer main we are going to call a function fun and return zero now when the above code is compiled and executed it will produce the output as local class method is called so inside this particular function whenever we are going to call a function the test method will be called and test method output will be displayed on the screen now let's see a program to see the usage of static variable and enumerated variable in a local class hash include io stream using namespace std we'll start with a function void function 1 opening braces inside this we'll declare our static member as static integer x1 we'll declare the enum variable as enum a equal to 1 b equal to 2 then we'll start with the class definition class test 1 in a public section we'll have void method 
where we are going to write a code as c out x1 equal to x1 and l. Here the x1 variable is a static variable, c out a equal to a where a is a enum variable. Our method will end, our class will end. Here we are going to declare the object of a test1 class, test1 t1 and then we are going to call a member function as t1 dot method and our function will end. Now here as you can see in we have declared the function function 1, inside function 1 we have declared the static variable and we have declared the enum variable. Inside this we have declared the complete definition of a class test1 where there is one member function. We have declared the object of class test1 and we are calling the member function t1 dot method. Now we will start with our main function integer main we are going to call a function function 1 and return 0. Now when we call a function 1 it will declare the object of class t1 and it will give the call to t1 method. So in t1 method it will display the value of x1 as 0 and it will display the value of a as 1. So when the above code is compiled and executed it will produce the result as x1 equal to 0 a equal to 1. Now let us summarize the module of friend function and friend classes. As we have seen one friend function can be a friend of more than two classes. Here it will have the access to the private data of both the classes. Any function which has to be made as a friend of that particular class it should be declared as a friend inside the class. At the time of definition of a friend function a friend keyword is not used. A friend function can be a normal function it can be a function template, it can be a member function, it can be a class or it can be a class template. Because a friend function is a non-member function, it does not have this pointer. A friend can be a friend of any number of classes.